You know what's great about Torx is I use usually a pretty much strictly racquetball swing when I'm leading with my elbow, but it's such a versatile sport that you see a lot of tennis players coming in with a tennis stroke and just as effective. And that's what makes it so awesome is for me, I'm using my racquetball swing, keeping it flat. You're seeing a lot of, a lot of tennis players coming up, up through the ball and they're still hitting great shots as well. So I like using my swing that I'm used to, but most, but most tennis players coming out here are freaking so effective with what they have. Early preparations, uh, gigantic, you know, in racquetball, that's one of the biggest things I tell people, get, get your racket up quickly. The moment I see a ball or a shuttlecock coming to me, if it's forehand or if it's a backhand, it's up. If it's backhand, it's up. So obviously on the forehand, racket's up quick, waiting for it. And a lot of times you just don't have that time. It's right there and it's real quick. All right, for a forehand for me, racket back, I try to get my elbow up somewhat close to shoulder high. Next thing I'm trying to step into the shot. Third, rotation. Fourth is swinging and swinging flat. If I want to give it a little bit of lift, I'll come on up, bring up the shoulders a little bit, but not much. And that's what allows me to kind of keep the ball in play. You got different shots in here. You're trying to rip as well as you're trying to keep a guy deep on the lobs. And it gives you time to get back into position as well on that.